Welcome in to, welcome into Titans today. I am Will Scott. What just happened? I think that the whole NFL world is trying to process what happened minutes ago. The Tennessee Titans have traded wide receiver A.J. Brown to the Philadelphia Eagles. Here are the full trade details. The Eagles get one of the best wide receivers in the league in A.J. Brown. The Titans get the 18th overall pick, which we'll get into who they took here in a second, and they get a third-round pick, and they still keep their other first-round pick, which is the 26th overall selection in the NFL draft. Those are the full trade details, and they ended up taking Traylon Burks, wide receiver out of Arkansas. So they basically traded A.J. Brown for a third-round pick in Traylon Burks. You give up one of the best wide receivers in the league because I guess you don't want to pay him, and you get a rookie wide receiver and a third-round pick. I don't know how I feel about it, although Burks is very, very good. This is a very deep wide receiver class. We saw earlier in this draft four wide receivers taken, five picks apart, and Burks the fifth wide receiver taken in this draft. But make no mistake, he's not your typical fifth best wide receiver on the board. He is a outstanding talent out of Arkansas. If you watched any Hogs games this past year, he was all over the field making plays, and he stepped up in some of Arkansas's biggest games this year, especially against LSU when he went off against the Tigers. And you look at Burks, and you look at his athleticism, and you look at the way he can get down the field. It's a great pick. But again, you trade A.J. Brown and you replace him with Traylon Burks. We mentioned, uh, you know, what he did at the Combine. We'll get into that later. But I want to hear your reaction to this. Grade the Traylon Burks pick, A, B, C, D, or F. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. It's the pinned comment on today's video. So when you're hit with an ad break here in a few seconds, go down, let me know what you think. I'm going to get into what I think about the trade a little bit later and kind of grade the trade. As far as the pick goes, if we're just throwing the trade out the window and just focusing on the Burks pick, I would give it an A-. minus. He's a very good wide receiver that's going to come in and have an impact on this Tennessee offense right away might come in and, and be your number one wide receiver right away. That's how good he's going to be as a rookie. That's how good he was at Arkansas. Here's what Lance Zerline said about him on NFL.com. Look, Burks is big, smooth, and natural. He possesses the versatility to operate from wherever you want and get to wherever you want no matter the competition. And, of course, we saw him go up against the best defenses in the country down in the SEC. He's a mismatch receiver combining size, strength, competitiveness, similar to A.J. Brown, but his speed testing at the NFL Scouting Combine did not meet expectations. He ran a 4 5, 5 40. 66 catches last season at Arkansas, over 1,100 receiving yards, 11 receiving touchdowns and had a 91 yard reception at one point in the season he's a very good very good wide receiver you know when you're looking at some of the best wide receivers to come out of the SEC I don't think I would put him on the same talent level as let's say a Jamison Williams but he was right up there with I think Kayshawn Butte from LSU is is being one of the top three wide receivers in the SEC the last two seasons and as we've seen time and time again, you never know what can happen at the NFL draft. We're still shocked about what just happened. We reacted live on Chat Sports, and you can follow the NFL draft from the first round all the way to round seven. Every single pick we're going to be breaking down here on Chat Sports. So you see that sub link right there, youtube.com slash chat sports TV. Go to that link and subscribe. The sub link is going to be in the comments in the description. So go sub and watch the best NFL draft coverage. And when we get into the later rounds, you know, rounds four, five, six, seven, ESPN is going to be talking about whatever. They're not going to be talking about football. We're going to be breaking down every single pick here on Chat Sports. So go ahead and subscribe. Let's get back to the trade details. Eagles getting A.J. Brown. The Eagles 
really needed a wide receiver. And when they traded with the Houston Texans up to pick 13, I think a lot of us were thinking they were going to take a wide receiver. Instead, they take Jordan Davis and then end up with A.J. Brown a few picks later after this trade with the Tennessee Titans. The Titans getting the 18th overall selection, getting the 101st overall pick. That is a late third round pick. And with the 18th overall selection, they take Traylon Burks out of Arkansas, who is going to have, uh, you know, a big, big, you know, uh, you know, up impact, I think, for this Titans team. However, he's going to have some pressure on him, having to come in and replace A.J. Brown. Look, he's a big-bodied wide receiver, also very, very fast, dangerous with the ball in his hands, could potentially make an impact on special teams as well for the Titans. So he's uh, a lot of upside there with Burks. But I think Titans fans are going to be more upset about the trade that went down and maybe not focusing as much on the Burke selection. So I want to hear what your one word reaction is to the trade down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Are you stunned? Did you see it coming? Let me know what you think down in the comment section. My reaction is I'm stunned. I mean, who saw this coming? And we've seen so many shocking trades in the NFL offseason. We saw Tyree Kill get traded to the Dolphins. We saw Devontae Adams get traded to the Raiders. Now A.J. Brown, the latest domino to fall as far as stunning NFL offseason moves are concerned. And can you really even be stunned anymore, though, when you look at what's happened the last couple weeks in the National Football League? But I think it's stunning because it looked like the Titans had no plans to trade A.J. Brown. It looked like they were going to extend him eventually. By the way, he's getting a massive extension with the Philadelphia Eagles. Latest details, four years, $100 million, $57 million guaranteed. Why would the Titans not pay him that? The Tennessee Titans were the number one seed in the AFC last year. They lost to Joe Burrow and the Bengals, who went to the Super Bowl. They were that close to maybe maybe being a Super Bowl team. And you're going to trade one of the best wide receivers in the NFL? And look, Traylon Burks is going to be a heck of a player. I think he's going to be, right away, one of the best wide receivers in this division. But if you're trying to contend, if you're trying to give Ryan Tannehill help, who, let's be honest, needs help, he's Ryan Tannehill, why would you trade A.J. Brown, and why would you do it like this? You could have gotten more in return. You got the 18th overall pick, yes. You're going to have two first-round picks this year. I don't get it. But you know what? This is why you sub for breaking Titans news. We're going to keep you posted on anything that goes on Titans-related, and we're going to be breaking down every single Titans draft pick in the 2022 NFL Draft. This has been Will Scott with Titans Today. Talk to you soon. Thank you.